What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to touch on a mindset shift for your small videography slash video agency business that you are growing. And one thing that's been helping me grow my small videography company when I'm shaking hands with these prospects and meeting them in person is return on investment. What is that business going to get in return for the exchange of your value? When I was in the clothing brand space as an owner, CEO, looking at my uh, contractors, the website, the marketing budget, there's only so much cash flow that each individual business has. So what's gonna make the most sense for them to get a return on their investment? When I was in that position, when videographers would approach me for the clothing brand, they would say, can I make you three to four reels for 500 to $1,000? It didn't make sense in my mind because it was a brand awareness video, it was a hype video. And though those may be cool and are needed to continue to bring brand awareness, they weren't going to generate more sales, more prospects, hot leads into my backend funnel system. So bringing it back to the videography space, I know now what small businesses, how they're operating with their cash flow. So it has to make sense for them to invest into you. What does that look like? To me, in my structure, it's been the their testimonials of people that have operated or worked with their business that have had a great experience, getting them on camera, talking about that experience. It is the educational piece as well. Them educating their clients and people with their product, their service, photos for fillers on Instagram, a B-roll as well that can be used for stories and to showcase the culture and the environment. These pieces will be able to bring in more eyes to their brand and be able to, over a period of time, depending on the variety, have them go into their funnel system, their email list, convert to a, a purchase based on all these different types of variety of content that you're getting and providing for them. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's really being in a place of service and looking out for their best interest instead of just an exchange for the cash flow. I was at one point just trying to close leads to get cash flow, looking at the money aspect instead of the service aspect. And when that happens, you tend to just focus on money and forget about the relationship. But when you focus on the relationship building and you see and you want that other business that's investing in you to also grow and flourish through the content that you're providing for them, it's gonna be a lot easier to continue to grow, not only yourself, but then they're growing as well, allowing them to be on a retainer with you, allowing them to refer more people to you because you actually give a damn about their growth, not only just your self-interest. So just keep that in mind out there when you are getting these hot leads and you're shaking hands, meeting with people, be in their best interest because if you really care about them and that relationship and you build it, it's only going to help you on the long run as well as it will for them. They grow, you grow. As they grow, they give referrals to you because of the work that you've been providing. And now it's just up to you to find out what structure that looks like of giving value for them to get more leads into their funnel system through the content that you provide for them. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's just my uh, little mindset uh, rant shift there. I'm by no means an expert in this. It's just something of an experience that I had from owning uh, a product service business and now transferring over to a service-based business where I can bridge that gap and understand where that client is coming from when it comes to their cash flow marketing budget because the last thing any small business wants is to invest into a videographer slash video agency, get this content, and it's not doing anything for them. It's just getting some, maybe some more impressions, some more views, some likes and comments, but there's nothing coming into the back end system. And that's where you're gonna come into play and be different and separate yourself from the pack 
because you'll also play another hat, the consulting hat, meeting with them at least like once a week on a phone call and just checking in on them and seeing how their growth is happening, how it's all going with your content. Hopefully you got some value out of it. Remember, summary of this is be in a place of service and uh, it's all going to just continue to flourish and grow and good luck out there. Let me know if you got some value out of this. Hit that thumbs up. Peace.